we're going to be looking at ultrasound scanning. Ultrasound scanning relies on the echolocation technique. And this technique is used by bats to navigate. They send out ultrasound, which is then reflected when it hits an object. So the reflected sound is called the echo. And the time taken for the bat to receive the echo is an indicator of how far the object is. In an ultrasound A scan, a single pulse is used to determine the depth and nature of internal structures, but it only provides information in one direction, and this is because we're using a single pulse. The ultrasound is partially reflected at a boundary and the intensity of the reflected ultrasound is displayed as an amplitude signal on a cathode ray oscilloscope. So when an ultrasound pulse is sent into the body, whenever it reaches a boundary, it is reflected. And here we can see the reflected ultrasound at boundaries A, B and C. The time taken for the probe to receive the reflected ultrasound indicates the depth of each boundary. And so you can see the further the boundary, the longer it takes to receive the echo. The amplitude represents the intensity of the reflected ultrasound and so gives an indicator of the nature of the reflecting surface because the reflected intensity depends upon the difference between the acoustic impedance of the media which makes the boundary. So you can identify whether the ultrasound has been reflected off bone or soft tissue. We can also determine the thickness of a tissue from the delay time the probe receives the ultrasound that is being reflected from the front and rear boundaries of the tissue. Delta T represents this delay time between boundaries A and B and during the delay time delta T the ultrasound travels a distance of twice the thickness of the tissue because it's traveling there and back so from A to B and then back to A and as distance equals speed times times taken then the thickness of the tissue will equal the speed of sound in the tissue multiplied by half the delay time. In an ultrasound B scan, multiple ultrasound elements are present in a single probe, which means the probe can send out multiple ultrasound pulses in order to create a 2D image. In a B scan, the intensity of the ultrasound is displayed as a dot on a cathode ray oscilloscope. So we have the multiple ultrasound pulses sent into the body and at boundary each pulse will be reflected. And the positions of the dots represent the positions of the reflecting surfaces, the boundaries. And that information has been computed using the time taken for the probe to receive the reflected ultrasound. And the brightness of the dots indicates the intensity of the reflected ultrasound. And so again, gives information about the nature of the reflecting surface. An ultrasound B scan 
is commonly used to monitor fetal growth and ultrasound is used because it's non-ionizing and so it would be safe for the fetus.